Hey there, how's it going? Slacko has released a new uh, point release on uh, January 26th. And it says right here, Dimitri Zemos has announced the release of Slacko 7.7. .7. Mate Edition, a Slackware and Salix based Linux distribution featuring the Mate 1.26.1 desktop and various graphical utilities developed by the Slacko project. So I got it opened up in a virtual machine, so we're going to head over there and take a look at Slackle. 7.7 Mate. And here we are on the virtual machine. Uh, this is going to be a live CD overview because for some reason uh, I couldn't get Slackle to install on here. So I think it's because I'm using boxes and instead of virtual machine or word manager, I use boxes to uh, take a look at these ISOs. And for some reason, Slack is not, uh, it's not cooperating. At least the installer is not cooperating. But, uh, besides that, um, we open up a terminal and, uh, get a proper screen resolution. And you can see right here, we're running the uh, Mate desktop. The Mate, the Mate desktop comes with uh, two separate panels. You have your top panel and the bottom panel. And the bottom panel is just going to consist of your uh, task manager. So this is where your uh, tabs will open up every time you open up a program. You'll get a tab right here on the bottom. And this is also where you have your desktops. I'm going to go to desktop 2, desktop 3, desktop 4. Some people call them desktops, some people call them workspace, you can call it whatever you want. Then on top we have our uh, regular uh, panel, the Mate panel, which has the uh, system tray on the right, pinned applications on the left, and you have a few uh, menus up here. So you have your regular standard applications. Opening this, you get accessories, graphics, internet, office, programming, and sound and video. And then you get your places, which is like your folder construct. So right here, you got your home folder, then you got your desktop, then you got your computer, your hard drive, your network, things like that. And then you have your system manual, which has your preferences, administration, control center, your about, and your, uh, your power menu. So you got your shutdown, log out, and lock screen. So let's take a look at the about, about Mate, Mate desktop environment, 1.26.2. And our pinned applications, we're going to have LeafPad. Let's open up LeafPad. So this, just, uh, this is just a regular uh, text editor, nothing fancy about it. Just... Just a text editor. That's all it is. And leafpad 0.8.18.1.11. Dot not dot. All right. And next to that, we have our terminal, which is going to be the Mate terminal. And Mate terminal 1.26.1. And since we have the terminal open, let's uh, see if we got HTOP installed. And we do. So this version of HTOP shows us 668 megabytes out of uh, 4 gigabytes of memory. And our load averages are in the 0 0.8 or 0 0.08, 0 0.23, and 0 0.17 percentages. So it's very, very low. All right, now let's check and see if we have a uh, NeoFetch installed. And we do. And you can see right here, we got a uh, Slack or Linux, Mate. The kernel is 6.6.11. Desktop environment, Mate, 1.26.1. So far, so good. And let's open up our uh, web browser, which is Firefox. 
And we'll get to see what version it is. All right, let's go to the about. And we have Firefox 121.0.1. And it says updates disabled by your system administrator. So I don't know if it's saying that because it's a live CD or maybe they do have uh, updates disabled just on a regular version. But like I said, we're looking at a live CD, so this is what we're getting. And I'm noticing right here that it says uh, we're having a trouble finding that site. So I think uh, we got some network issues here. Over here, we got a server not found also on Mozilla.org. So we definitely not connected to the Internet. And that could be something we could... It could be due to it being a uh, a live CD. Hell, maybe that's what's giving me, giving me the problem with the installation. That could be it right there. All right. And then we have our standard fleet of applications. We got accessories here. So under accessories, we got things like our calculators and, you know, take screenshot. So archive managers. Then we got our graphics. And in the graphics, we have our image viewers, image editors, paint programs. Uh, let's take a look at GIMP. And here you have all your controls on top. And on the help, it's what we find out about. GIMP 2.10.36. And also has an option to check for updates. But since our internet connection is down here on the live CD, we're not even going to waste our time. Then heading back to our uh, applications, we have a few things in the internet, but uh, obviously we can't test them because uh, we have no internet connection. And then below that, we have our office suite. So uh, let's take a look at LibreOffice. And we have the full suite here available. We have Writer, Calc, Impress, Draw, Math, and Base. And if we take a look under the help, we have our route, which shows us LibreOffice 7.6.2.1. So it is the latest version. And then back to the applications, we got programming. All right, and getting back to our menu, we're doing the programming. And on the program is where we have our QT5, nodes, print editors, and Genie, which is our IDE editor. And right here is where you can write your code. So if I'm going to start scripting or anything you do it right here and on the about we are showing version 1.36 and it is a fast and lightweight IDE polyf I'm not sure where polyf is but it's on there all right now if we go under a uh, system it's where we have a lot of our preferences so right here is pretty much where you could change everything about your system there's your screensaver, your windows, time and date, startup applications, sound, power management, you know, mouse, keyboards. Pretty much all your system settings can be found here. Now, apart from here, it's kind of similar to the uh, XFCE desktop environment where there's also a control center where you can find pretty much everything that's right here in this menu. You'll find right here where it says control center. So if you click on this, it just opens it up in a box. So basically everything here is the same thing that you just saw on that menu. It's just right here in its own separate app. And since I got this opened up right now, let's take a look at our theming. So the themes right now, it's set up on custom. So right here, you can change your fonts, interface, background, pretty much everything in the system. So let's say, for example, on the background, if I want to use this one just click on it and it switches over so it's pretty standard and straightforward then back to the theme tab if i wanted to switch the theme around just click on it all right pretty straightforward So I'll just leave it on that one right now for the sake of this video. There's also some other settings right here. So if you want to customize a theme, click on this. 
and you can change the controls, you can change the window border, you can change the icons, and you can change the mouse cursor. So pretty much uh, has a pretty flexible control system. And then once you uh, set up your the way you want it, you just click on Save As. But right now I'm noticing that the fonts are a little large, so let's go under Fonts. Let's change this down to like 9. Select. Off, oh, much better. Much, much better. Close this out. Close this out. And if we get back to the system, we have our about, which pretty sure we saw that already. And then you have your uh, shutdown, then your power menu, you should shut down, log out, and lock screen. All right, so this is a uh, Slack O Linux. It's pretty good. Uh, the only problem I saw with this was the uh, installation portion and the uh, internet connection error, but I think that's just because it's a live CD. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe they are, maybe have to get into the system and do some changes to it, which I don't know what those changes are because I, I've never used Slack. Well, this is my first time even taking a look at it. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, everything worked pretty good. Worked straight out the box. So uh, if there's something you want to take a look at, I'll have the, uh, homepage and download link down in the video description. That way you can take a look at it yourself, open it up in a virtual machine and play with it. All right. Well, that's going to do it for me, and I'm out.